And we have new info tonight as crews work to uncover a prehistoric site in Fayetteville. The discovery coming as RDOT prepares for expansion of Highway 112. A team from Memphis is now in Arkansas to help reveal the archaeological site. That crew tells us this is the most significant archaeological site they've seen in Arkansas with structures possible 10,000 years old. All new tonight, Morgan Wrigley shares what we know now about the people who possibly lived there before. What's the story of these people who lived here and how were they living and what was their lifestyle? What were they eating? and how are they relating to each other? These are questions Commonwealth Heritage Group is digging up the answers to. Senior archaeologist Jack Rawson says this archaic site is between six and 9,000 years old. We have direct evidence of what their community looked like, not just a bunch of artifacts in the ground, and that pushes it to another level of significance. And they're working to paint a picture of the people who once lived here. I think there was a big cookhouse that was about 30 feet long that had big fire hearths in it where they were cooking for a band of could be 40 or 50 people and there are little huts around it. Rawson says it's difficult to connect these archaic people to a modern Native American tribe but the Osage tribe is working with Arda on this project. Any federally funded project must include a three-phase archaeological survey before construction begins. The first two phases involve limited testing. And then if they still think it's important, the DOT has a choice. They can either avoid the site, change the path of the road, or they can go through full-scale excavation, which is phase three, and that's what we're doing here. Rawson and his team will take the recovered artifacts to Memphis for analysis. Then RDOT will begin highway construction as planned. There's a, there's a, there is something kind of kind of uh, sad about that. The site will be destroyed, it will be gone. But at the same time, it's kind of nice that we get to get some information out of it and tell the story of it before it's destroyed. And that was Morgan Wrigley with that story. Commonwealth Heritage will take a three-week break in the excavation process while they wait for their new plan to get approved. They will pick back up mid-July, continuing through August.